many friends that have got chili plants for years and years and years and they clip them back etc etc so I'm just going to show you the general basics there's no rule of thumb um, a lot of it's trial and error uh, but it's always always good to try and over, overwinter a few chili plants so first of all is it hasn't been left in the greenhouse and the frost hasn't got to the plant and as you can see it's all very very healthy um, it's got some uh, chilies on it the majority of the leaves have fallen off that's a good sign that's, that's telling you now that it's starting to almost hibernate. Um, left the chilies on there. This is um, an actual, uh, it's a Naga Viper, so it's one of the, uh, the, the super hots. It's a small plant, reason being, kept in a small pot. The reason for this is it just reduces the growth of it a tiny bit. Next year, we'll put it into a much larger pot and then it'll be a huge plant. So we've got a good stalk on it um, and it's a nice thing. So we're gonna uh, cut it down. A few basic things you need. Obviously, you need a very sharp uh, set of secateurs. The secateurs, you can sharpen the blade yourself. It's quite easy to use a knife sharp. Um, and fertilizer. Now, the fertilizer I've got here is a slow release fertilizer, and that will just be sprinkled on the top. That will revitalize the root ball system. We've got a very, very good root ball system now. That's what we want. And then next year, when it starts sprouting everything, it's, you know, it's going to um, grow a lot quicker. It's done most of the work itself and that's why it's really good and so you get a much healthier plant and it will produce a hell of a lot more chilies next year. So where are we going to cut? Let's show you. Here we are. All we're going to do is we're looking for the good spots. Yeah. Basically we've got nice green shoots coming up. You can just see here, these little nodules here, okay, these are where the old leaves have fallen off. So what we're going to do basically you could cut it right down down to the bottom nodules here not a very good idea because you do get a little tiny bit of dieback so what we want to do is give a good chance of wherever the bud's going to come out which is round about here you can see the, the bottom of the leaves here's actually a little tiny bud coming out so we're going to cut actually just above it and give a nice down so let's start cutting always okay I tend to cut at an angle it's like a rose bush just cut at an angle just slightly above uh, the bud itself and just nip Okay, nice and sharp. I'm working from the outside in. The reason is the, the main stalk is going to be the hardest one to go. And see this one, I'm going to try and keep the outside one so that the bud is actually coming outside. So what happens is it grow and then grow out that way. Just a couple off the back. If I have a facing on this one here, it's going to encourage it to grow inwards. And then just this final one at the back, roughly around here. Okay, and the central stalk, right, big central stalk there, there's a bud just there, so nice clean there. And that is it, and that's all we're going to do, and that's all you need to do. Place some slow release fertilizer top, just a few, not too many, okay, and just sprinkle them about, and then they'll just gradually revitalize. And there we have. Over winter, and that's really over winter. You keep it, just put it into your kitchen window. In the kitchen window, it's going to, it's going to maintain the heat, the temperature. Um, it's not going to get exposed. Then obviously, that probably will start budding in the very near, uh, very near future. We'll keep an eye on it. I'll uh, post some photos uh, up on our uh, Facebook, etc. Which is obviously Clifton Chili, and we we'll see how it goes. And that will now grow uh, and be a healthy Naga Viper. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.